All right, stats, welcome to a quick video for um, chapter 13 quiz, which we are gonna do on Thursday. This is the second part of the video with just a few answers. As always, brought to you by Chinatown and in-house sponsor of Hammer Endura Lights Fizz. Run half as fast as Mr. Mr. Yak with your Endura Lights Fizz. All right, number five here, folks. This is, a lot of you have been asking good questions. When are you gonna use you know, the Z, the normal approximation. Anytime your sample size is huge, there's no way I'd make you use the binomial for at least 250. That means 250, 251, 252, all the way to 299, 300. So that's when you have to do the approximation. Find uh, the mean, the standard deviation, like that. Then I want to know X is equals the student passes at least is greater than or equal to 250. All right, so find your Z score greater than or equal to. Um, when you find that area, subtract it from one, there it is. No more than 240, that means less than or equal to 240. Okay, so there it is. Pause this. We should talk about this in class, but here's the answer. Between 248 and 256 inclusive, including both. Put 256 in for X, 248 in for X. Get your two Z scores. Those are the areas that are associated with it. So subtract them. Certain so medication cures patients with that probability. X is a patient cured. We want the probability of 140 or more. X is greater than 140. So find your mean, your standard deviation. Greater than means you're gonna subtract it from one. And then 150 or fewer, that's less than or equal to, I'm sorry, 130 or fewer, that's less than or equal to 130. That's your X. Your mean stays the same. That's the probability. I, uh, let's see, I really didn't do much with seven. I just set it up. All right, find n times p, just do that as well. Again, um, 150 is a huge sample size. Now this is geometric, probability it rains for the first time on the fifth day. That means it doesn't rain four times, then rains, okay? It will rain between, oh, no, nope, I did this one totally wrong. So this one's actually, if you did, um, gonna have to use binomial there okay we'll talk about this one tomorrow so you want eight or ten choose eight um, the probability that it rains I'm sorry not ten how many days are in March here's where we need the number of days there's 31 days in March 31 choose eight and I want it to rain eight times and not rain 23 times plus um, 31 choose nine here I want it to rain nine times, not rain 22 times. And then finally, 31 choose 10. I want it to rain 10 times, not rain 21 times. All right, there you go. My bad there, type it in the calculator. Your uh, quiz is gonna have nine questions. Nine questions exactly, just like you see here, big hint, hint, wink, wink. And then last question, um, on the video I have online has a different number nine. You guys are missing a number nine, I believe. So here's the one you're getting in class tomorrow. An average of 4.5 packages are delivered to the wrong address each day in a certain town. Uh, so find the probability that uh, four or five incorrectly uh, delivered packages are found during the day. Okay, so that's probability X is four plus probability X is five. Using, I didn't give you the formula, but I will give you the formula. It's always um, the mean to x, e to the negative mean over x factorial. There it is. Again, we're going to talk about this one in class for sure. Certain days, c0 or 1, incorrectly delivered packages. All right. And then it sees more than 3. Remember, this is a whole number. So, or no, oh, yeah, more than 3. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe not like boo-boo. More than three means the probability x is greater than or equal to four. You know, that it's that it's th more than three. So what I had here is right. I want to use that. I just need to do one minus the probability it's less than or equal to three. Okay, which um, we have zero and one already. So here is two and three. And I just made a boo-boo that instead... Of keeping that answer, we need to do one minus that answer in 65, 65, 8. All right, so my bet on that one, that is the correct answer there. All right, that is your video. Um, homework's due tomorrow, quiz is still on Thursday. We're going to be in good shape. Yak Math Video, signing out.